welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run through the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the course of the next five days. As we head into the weekend it will be turning quite a bit milder but also drier as well as we see a bit of a southerly airflow with a European high pressure system dominating so it's going to be quite sunny and it's going to be quite dry and it will be pretty mild as well again temperatures still a little bit on the up and down um, depending on what, what model you look at but majority of us in the low teens for the weekend which is not too bad for uh, the middle of february really as we head into next week, it does look likely the jet stream will open up a little bit, as we see on the GFS, GM, ECMWF and the ensembles. A bit more of a westerly flow with the high pressure system losing its strength, but it could still hold on in the south at times. And there will be some amplification in the jet streams. They could actually be cooler, milder air masses oscillating, but it is still quite uncertain in the longer term. And we are seeing hints, perhaps, from some of the models, perhaps the GFS and its ensemble members, right in the longer term perhaps signs of something a bit colder now of course in yesterday's video we had a look at the sun stratospheric warming which is pretty much imminent now in, in the next sort of seven to ten days and that could start to propagate through the atmosphere giving some effects towards the end of the month and that's perhaps what the ensemble members in the gfs operational run are hinting at but we can't say for certain uh, at least for a number of days if not at least a week or two until that comes nearer to the shorter range so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description so if we do start on the live radar you can see it is dry in the south cooler and wetter in the north there is some lingering patches of drizzly rain and that's the remnants of the weather front that is pushing actually quite a lot colder air through but it's quite transient so it's not going to make too much of a hit to the temperatures today for areas further southwards but in Scotland, we've got a lot of convective showers with those falling uh, with a wintry flavour over the higher ground. Again, not too unusual for midwinter, but uh, again, a bit of a change to what we had recently where it has been incredibly dry. That will continue through the day, but it will probably turn drier over the next couple of days, as I said, into the weekend where we're all pretty much going to be dry and pretty mild. If we look at the temperatures, you can see it is a bit cooler today, a bit more blues appearing, but again, still got those yellows, so still temperatures into the high single digits, um, but widely not too bad for uh, early to mid-February, really. Temperatures, as I said, around that sort of 5 or 6 degree mark in the coolest areas, higher than that uh, in the mildest areas. If you now go over to the UKV and have a look at the precipitation and the temperatures doing over the course of the next five days, you can see this afternoon those showers continue in the north, a bit more cloud appearing over the course of this afternoon, but again, shouldn't be a uh, shouldn't do too much a few more patches of rain pushing in but again nothing too significant through tomorrow again might just make uh, some increased cloud amounts tomorrow again not particularly great but again at least it is relatively dry for many as we head into the weekend though you can see it is turning widely drier and patches of sunshine coming through through saturday and sunday afternoon again probably more favored further south and westwards but it could be anywhere really where we see those cloud breaks we'll just have to see towards the weekend and it'll be pretty mild as said 10 to 12 degrees quite widely slightly higher uh, or lower in a few spots and then as we head into monday staying pretty mild with that southerly flow and even more sunshine appearing there through sunday evening into monday um, and again really dry three consecutive days there pretty much bone dry conditions for many really not too bad for this time of year where we can see extremely stormy unsettled weather and it's all because we've got higher pressure and a southerly flow again the upper air temperatures are pretty mild for the time of year a good 10 degrees above average again there is uncertainty exactly how much that will play into the surface temperatures but at this stage we're expecting as i said low teens and so if we do put on those max temperatures you can see this afternoon widely sort of six to eight degrees maybe nine or ten in a few spots slightly lower than that in other spots tonight the temperatures will drop quite cold it will get down towards freezing if not below freezing for many areas in the south where we have clearer skies again just continuation of what we've had recently and tomorrow it will be slightly milder more likely eight to ten degrees quite widely and that will continue into saturday as well temperatures won't drop away all too cool overnight that's one big change with this southerly flow more mixing of air and milder air mixing in 
Warm in overnight temperatures won't drop away anywhere near as cold. And you can see by Saturday, 10 to 12 degrees quite widely, perhaps slightly milder than that in a few spots. And that continues into Sunday as well, maybe even slightly higher in a few spots, 10 to 12 degrees once again, maybe reaching 13 in a few spots. And then as we head into Monday, slightly cooler overnight perhaps, uh, but into Monday afternoon once again, 8 to 10 degrees. So not quite reflecting the upper air temperatures, but still generally milder than average sunny as well so it will feel pretty decent out there in the sunshine but of course whenever the clouds do clear and it does go night time those temperatures will inevitably fall as i said through friday night into saturday probably won't fall too much we see here monday into tuesday and probably sunday into monday as well temperatures will get down to mid to low single digits if not towards freezing so it will be cold overnight again we can't really uh, escape that this time of year but hopefully in the daytime it will be pretty decent now, if we do go over to the long range charts, have a look at the GFS, GM, ECM, WF, and the ensembles, you can see a big high pressure system building in at the moment. Brief westerly flow in the north, but that will get pushed away. And look at that southerly wind for the weekend into early next week. Quite mild and dry. However, in the longer term, low pressure pushes it away, but as I said, high pressure could just have out hang on in the south and at times actually dominate overall. Again, the majority of runs, as we'll see from the GM and the Eastern have do have the low pressure systems being a bit more progressive, but the GFS here holds that high pressure a bit more, and in the longer term, as I said, it tries to pull off something a bit colder, Scandinavian high, and tries to pull in easterly winds. Again, uncertain how much this will come off. Uh, I tried it as uh, so last week but had uh, had no support really in the end from the other runs i was a bit anomalous but again we'll have to see what happens with that and also do just want to generally check out the northern hemisphere for the pressure charts again no huge blocking signal over the north pole so perhaps no signs yet of any ssw propagating through the atmosphere so any of this sort of easterly flow not uh, coming from an SSW looking here just more of a, a general pattern change perhaps uh, but still showing generally very strong tropospheric polar vortex towards Greenland and the North Atlantic if we do go over to the GM and see how that does compare again a westerly flow in the north at the moment high pressure building in and dominating over the next few days as I said into next week though more transient high pressure holding on in the south but lower pressure further northwards and a bit more amplification in the jet stream again nothing too crazy with that again the northern hemisphere view no signs of any major blocking again that is something we'll keep a look at for the next week or so to see if we do have any signs of that ssw propagating through the atmosphere if we do something with the ecmwf uh, again you can see high pressure building in over at the moment a westerly flow pushing in after that and again more amplified in the jet stream so more of these low pressure systems perhaps diving slightly further southwards but again nothing too abnormal for the time of year you look at the air mass is slightly cooler it does wrap in around the back of these lows but it will generally be oscillating between milder and more average to slightly cooler than average air masses and once again if we have a look at the northern hemisphere view no signs of any rocking propagating through the atmosphere as of yet but if we do now look at the ensembles, maybe there are signs of some colder runs in the longer term. Now we'll look at the midnight ensembles, there's a 6 o'clock run, I haven't fully come out as I'm recording this. But you can see the next week to 10 days, very mild, generally well above average for the time of year. But as we head around the 20th, trends more towards average, some cooler runs coming in there. And right towards the end of the run, there are a few very cold runs, getting down to minus 5 to minus 10 region again could be science of the ssw taking effect but it could just be general variation as well we'll just have to see nearer this time but for the time being pretty dry and relatively mild something that i think a lot of people watching this wouldn't mind um seeing some decent nice sunny weather for a, a change to what we have had over the past couple of months was either been very cold really or really unsettled if we do just have a look at the ECMWF to finish as well, you'll be able to see generally a very similar picture over the next 14 days, mild and dry for the next week to 10 days, and right into early February, perhaps signs of a cool down, maybe slightly more unsettled weather, but a very small signal for that, but perhaps quite a few more colder runs appearing there, down to that minus 5 to minus 10 region, again, could just be general variation, or could be signs of something a bit colder starting to appear as a result of that SSW. But anyway, 
nothing too much going on in the next week or so. Make sure you go out and enjoy the general mild and sunny weather. As I said, with an SSW coming in, who knows what is in play for the end of February, March, and potentially even into April as well. So do make sure you enjoy the decent weather we do have at the moment. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned as we will have plenty more updates with what's going on both on the day today and, of course, the stratospheric warming, which could propagate through the atmosphere in the coming weeks. Uh, and that could definitely spice up, as I said, the end of winter and start of spring. But as I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.